Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And a viewer emailed me this Corel file. And then I asked him what he was trying to make. And then he sent me this picture. It's an, it's an edge light. It's pretty cool. But he was asking me how he could cut out this red hairline that's around it. And it's, I don't, he just doesn't understand, or he did not understand that this is a JPEG image and it's fuzzy and that's just not going to work. So, you know, if I can take this helmet away and we zoom in here, your edge of your head, of your light, your acrylic would look like this. Those would be some sharp edges and would look terrible. So what you need to do, and it's just by, I'm thinking coincidence, this is the same, I did this video like a week ago how to do this, but I thought I'd do another one because I'm actually going to add this. So we're going to go, we're, we're clicked on our item, we're going to go to bitmap, convert to a bitmap, black and white, hit OK, and it's a bitmap. Now I'm going to control D, I'm going to make a copy of that just so we can look at it later because you can see it's still jagged. Now we'll take that same item, go to bitmap, outline trace, down to clip art, and it's going to take just a second to trace that. And maybe I should have already had one done for the video, but um, maybe you'll get a better understanding. And it'll be done in just a second. It's done, and you hit OK. Your new traced item should always be on top, or 99% of the time it's going to be on top. I've had it maybe just a couple of times. Now, we need to look at this, and it's, it's reduced the, the box around it, but it didn't take out the interior. So let's do this. Let's put this over here in our yellow box. And we're going to go up to Arrange, Group, Ungroup All Objects. Now, a lot of times you have to go through here and individually delete the white. But most of the time, you can just click on the black and move it over and your white is there. Then you can just select your white and move it or, or, or delete it. So we've gotten rid of all our white, so we're done with that part. We'll keep our yellow box here for a minute, but then what you need to do is you need to make a copy of that, Control D, and move it over. And I'm going to show you, this is the bitmap. This is the trace. Good, clean lines. Now, on our copy, and I'm moving everything over with a nudge factor. I've set it on three inches, or no, it's actually seven inches. I'm going to go up to arrange, break cover, curve apart. It's going to make everything black. Then I'm going to go up to under the weld tool. You have the boundary tool. I'm going to put a boundary around it. Now we're going to move it three inches that away, and we're going to get rid of this. We don't need this anymore. Just grab it and hit your delete key. Move that back to our original one. Now you got a boundary around the whole thing. So this is where the new part of the video starts. We want this taper, tapered. And I don't have the, the, the dimensions, but from looking at the picture, it's get your two point line and go from like that node. Well, that didn't work. Click on it and then grab your control key so you get a good line. Now, just for grins, we're going to move that out of the way so we can see it better. Grab our shape tool, and we'll just make this line a little bit longer. You can go past it, and you can see how clean our edges are. Get your virtual segment delete key, and we're going to delete this stuff we do not need. Delete these extra lines. Okay, now, I don't know the dimensions, 
but I and and there's a lot of ways you can do it. You could do it with a rectangle tool. I'm going to do it with a straight point or pointer, and I'm just going to go down to the a certain point, go down to a certain point, and you'd want to be more to exact when you're making this, and then just take your two point line and just connect these. Then you can actually take away this line. And I can see I'm off here, but you could always, let's bring down an indexing line. And this is how you could do it. You need it right there. Let's grab the zoom tool. And just, I'll tell you what, let's move our indexing line down just a hair more until it's about on that node. Then grab your shape tool. Grab that line and just go up till they're about even. And if you were doing this for real, you'd, you could do it a lot of different ways. But that didn't look half bad. Take your virtual segment delete key and delete that line. Now for current cutting purposes and everything, and so you won't mess up, I would encompass all this in either group or combine it. I'm going to combine it. And there's another way you could do that. So now it's all one shape. Now you do your still, you still got your nudge factor set on seven. It puts it right back and that's done. Now his original question was, cause there's still going to be some hairlines. Let's just do this, take the fill away, but we're going to add an outline. You've got all these hairlines if, because that's what's making up the art. If you didn't have the hairlines, and you fill it in and it, it might be all one color without hairlines but what I would do if I was doing this on a piece of acrylic I would engrave this first so I'd put it in let's just get this out of the way of the edge of the page I would put this in the laser so let's say you had a piece of acrylic that was you know this size and you're gonna cut this out I would engrave it first don't do a combo job, engrave it first and then take away your, your everything else that's inside, just delete it. You don't need it anymore. And then just cut this line and the, you could actually go up to print and hit select and just cut that line, but it's only going to cut that line because that's the only line there. Then if you wanted to save the file, all you have to do is press undo and it'll bring that back. So that's the way to make that edge light. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching.